great fun original production. Please sit back and enjoy. Hey guys, Dread Fun here with another one of my video uploads. Uh, this time it's time for Dread Fun to do the Genosqua. That's right. Uh, this is a, a famous, uh, well, I don't know if you call it famous, but in the Bigfoot community, certainly well known. Um, uh, a Native uh, American, uh, I, basically the, the Iroquois legend of these giant, uh, basically, rock men that would come down uh, into the, the valleys and the villages and basically hunt and devour humans. Uh, they were cannibals, so I guess they were technically large humans, but uh, in, some, in some tales they're described as large ape men. In others they're described as uh, basically just a giant with uh, rock-like skin. Um, they're known for hunting, uh, like I said, and eating uh, Iroquois warriors. Uh, they're very much more aggressive than your average Bigfoot, even though it looks physically like a Bigfoot. Um, they are a little bit larger and uh, basically a lot more aggressive. Um, they do like to twist the heads off their victims, if that gives you any idea. So. I mean, you know, not the not the nicest person. So if we've had any encounters in modern time with the Genosqua, uh, we're not going to know about it because uh, unless you put your head back on, I guess you know, and down the hatch you go. So yeah, I've seen these images and uh, I read up on the mythology and decided I I had to draw my interpretation and how I'm interpreting. If you've seen the drawing as you're seeing it come together. I'm drawing what appears to be a very aggressive looking Bigfoot Sasquatch type creature and the one theory that a lot of people put forth is that um, instead of them having rock skin they would actually roll themselves in uh, either a type of a mud that had rocks and stones and, and other uh, dry material intermeshed with the, the, the soft uh, mud like material and then they would cover themselves in their fur and it would get matted in and sort of form like a body armor. Uh, remember back at the time previous to Columbus's uh, so-called discovery of America, he, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, projectile weapon like uh, a bow or an arrow or an atlatl, those are the, about the only thing that uh, the Iroquois are going to be able to use, as well as, you know, other handheld weapons. So something like that is not going to pierce the hide of uh, a rock-covered Bigfoot. So. That's the theory I'm going with here. Um, you can see I'm using a lot of stone and my it's a little more cleaned up because again this is a comic book image so I can't really show the dustiness that sort of would lay off but you can see with the, the one big foot in the front there seated uh, you know he's about to chomp down on some Iroquois meat and uh, you know you got some uh, heads and a few of them tied up into the side and you know they were very the terrified people um, the Iroquois would uh, talk about this legend and this mythology and uh, just scared of these giant rock men so yeah I hope you guys like this video again it's my interpretation uh, what do you think the Genosqua looked like how do you how, what do you think uh, the, the interpretation of the mythology is I'd love to hear your uh, thoughts uh, in the comment section down below don't forget to like and subscribe. Dread Fun out. This has been a DreadFun.com production. Thanks for watching.